Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Distant Worlds Honorverse. Sorry about the week-long delay between recordings. For people following this series, you guys are very dedicated because I am, my consistency with these episodes has not been uh, substantial. But I have a real determination to finish this series. And by that I think I mean, at this point, taking down the Solarians because uh, just everything that's happening, it seems like things are degrading. And I even decided off camera, I think it's time because the they, if they do this um, attack again, I'm going to cancel our Mutual Defense Pact. Which means I don't want them any longer in my territory. So let's uh, send a warning. Stop their military attacks against us. Uh, and remove your military forces. This is fine. I, I know that I knew that that would be the case, but that's fine. So, is there any way we can get them to uh, give us money <laughs> now that we've done all that? No, I don't think so. But there, there might be some ways we can get these other ones to do some stuff. So we have a good reputation. Let's see if anybody else can uh, wants to buy something like high-density alloys, improved missiles. These are not ones I really prefer. Oh, we'll do trade sanctions for 100000 Absolutely. In fact, we might bundle a few things here. What about enhanced storage? That doesn't seem... Actually, it's not, it's not half bad of a technology, but it's way better than quantum exploitation. Yeah, let's let's bundle that in, because we could really use the money. Let's see how much money they even have. They only have 108,000, so why don't we just per initiate sanctions against the Scar Collective? This will kind of damage our reputation, I believe. Okay, so we're asking for... Oh, right, of course. We're asking for more instead of asking for less. What if we do this? Yes. Okay, so that's, um, by the way, I, I just want to let you know, off camera, if I was playing this, like, on my own, I would min-max the hell out of that, getting, getting every little, what every last credit I could, but, yeah, and this doesn't matter so much. Uh, and that's why I turned the difficulty from extreme down to only very hard. So, then, now we have done some stuff to annoy the Buscarans, but they don't have any military might worth speaking of, so we're not worried. Basically, the it's the universe against the Solarians at this point, who have military strength about eight, no, 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 was it uh, seven? No, no, no. Five times what we have? Yeah, about five times what we have. So, yeah. Okay, let's see, while we're there, while we're trying to make some money, why don't we try to make money off the Andromani, who I want to stay good friends with, and they are delighted with us, which I'm very happy to see. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing that I want to do to annoy them. They're, in fact, being very nice to us. We want to give them nice, generous... Ooh, they have research that we could benefit from. This is amazing. Where did all this research come from? Well, um... Fusion... This is the best one. Uh, let me look at the technology real fast. Let's see what we're looking at here. Oh, really? They have not even gotten... So we don't want to give anybody hyperfusion, but it's okay for us to give people fusion, I think. And I think it's certainly okay for us to give people quantum reactor. Because that's going to lead them down the path of Caslon still, which is just fine. So let's go over to them, see, do they want quantum reactor? This is Castlon, yeah. Oh, this is the improvement to it. Okay, I see, I see. These are improvements, this is second tier. They already have the basics. For two million, well, what technology can we get out of that? You can tell that it's obviously not a one-to-one -one correlation. This project size is 300K, and they're charging 690 for it. This project size, you know, basically it's two-to-one for the project size when we want to buy it from them, but it's one-to-one -one when we want to sell it, even less than one-to-one -one when we're selling. So it's it's already, there's already built in a bias here. This um, This number is not like some neutral objective value. It's already built in that they don't want to, they want to charge more to sell it than they do to buy it. Oh, 
really hard to say. How much money do they have? So they have about 500,000. Is there anything we really need? Oh, this is the final upgrade to the fission rat. We do not need that. Wait. I'm pretty sure we don't. 1,200. Yeah, that's the final uh, first tier fission reactor. This is interesting. I think we're actually doing this right now, but for 5 million, I obviously don't think it's worth it. Let's just try to get the smallest ratio of cost to project size, which means probably we're picking one which is less important, but that's absolutely okay with me. So for example, this is uh, now we're up to over three to one in terms of project size to cost. I mean cost to project size. Oh, this one's even over four to one. So it's interesting, they actually have spent quite a lot of time getting these hyperdrives uh, going. One sec. Yeah, so as I was saying, uh, it looks like the yeah, Andermanis have invested a lot of research into hyperdrives. We are way far behind, but I, you know what? Looking at all these, that just, my goodness. Okay, this one's not terrible. This is 2.5 to one. Let's see, we had one which was under two to one. Starfighters is about two to one. I just don't want to get ripped off so poorly. And I suspect the price of these drops based on the number of other nations, uh, sorry, empires who have already built it or researched it. 2.5 there, this is a little bit more expensive, 2.5. I don't really care about torpedo weapons. Starfighters is something I will eventually want. Mm, three to one. Uh, this one, yeah, that's 2.1. So there's no good options here. The best thing we can do is if we wanted to, and the Andermanis look like they'll be with us for a while, and I'm happy about that, we could give these guys the better quantum reactor, which I'm okay. I'm only not okay doing it because I don't want them to advance closer to the end fusion drive as quick. What about this? Okay, this seems to make sense to me. We can give them the improvement to the Maxos Blaster. This is the 1200 project size. And the reason why I think I'd be okay with that is because um, it, it's a dead end. Yeah, this is the dead end one. I'm okay giving them that. So let's go and give them that and see what we can get for it. Obviously, we're not going to be able to... It's worth more than they can just give us in terms of money. At 1.5 million. But 1200k, let's see if we can get some other project for it. Maybe... I mean, even the crew systems would be something. This just de The crew systems, the have in life, basically you need... Have in life every here it's saying 85 support size. So basically, um, the if you increase the have in life, it decreases the number of habs and excuse me, have in life modules you need um, per ship size. So it's a really minor just optimization thing. I think I'd be much happier if we were able to get. See, damage control is only 1.8. I think that that would be better. This is almost, this is below two to one. This is the one that's below two to one. I would have to pay a little bit for it though. And I would be losing advanced, I don't think. I'd rather get money and do a cheaper one even though it won't be as good. Let's see how much money can they give us again? Five, four, like basically 500,000. So which means we can do ship boarding, which is only 300k, that's four to one. That's not a good ratio. Crew systems, this is a lot better. And I, again, this is something that, let's just take a look. We're gonna do this and we're gonna spend the time to do it right. Let's look at this crew optimization. Oh, I already have it partly researched. So this would just be done in almost no time at all. Yeah, I think what we're better off doing is, um, let's go to weapons then. Since weapons is a lower priority for us in research, it's kind of a better deal to try to grab something here. What about boarding? Ship boarding, this is 300k, it just, it would finish so quickly. And if we, what, where are we at right now? 
Like even, man, it's like for crash research in any of these, it's so cheap. All right, let, let's avoid this. Let's, I'm willing to sell that technology, but <clears throat> I'd rather wait for them to get more money. <clears throat> so this is fine. I'm willing to sell this, but what can you guys offer me besides 500,000? We have a million to play with basically, which I think is shipboarding. In a nutshell, we almost have to be asking for shipboarding. We don't have any projects which are cheaper either. Starfighters, this is slightly better. In fact, if we do Starfighters, we can't, <laughs> we won't be asking for enough. Hmm. Huh. Kind of a big dilemma. What am I trying to do? Because we could, this is um, pretty interesting. We could hyper jump inhibiting. That's a, a nice one to have eventually. 600K for a 1200K project. But this one actually leads to something. This branches further. Ah, oh, man. The money is what I want most. I don't really care about the technology. We want the money to fund our our own projects. However, this is just too much. I can't give them three to one. It's just, it's just too good of a deal. So we'll have to wait. We'll wait for that to become less of an important technology. I keep waffling. I want to go back and look at the... Okay, let me just take a look at the technology they have to offer one last time. Okay, anything below, um, like a million or below. Starfighters. Humans don't have any special, special technology, so I will never need to get that from them. Okay, we could actually snaggle this one. This would be just a one-to-one -one exchange. Advanced blasters for, where was it? Hyperdrive inhibiting. Crew systems, I mean, we already, I don't think we need that one. At the same time, okay, so there's crew systems we would research really fast, but at the same time, um, it's in a really important category, right? It's in high tech, and we'd prefer to spend our high tech doing other stuff. Oh boy, uh, decisions, decisions. Well, let's not flounder. Let's uh, just go ahead and push on. I'm not gonna use the money right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and push on. So, what do we need to do is uh, pay attention to all our ships in here. They're just getting the, the hell beaten out of them. We did accomplish our mission objective, which was to destroy this base, but the, you can see there's still plenty of ships left to, to, to deal with. So let's see, we have on call one. Where are you? You're over there. Let's have you guys come in and destroy this. On call two. Where are you? You're already here. Let's have you guys move to this planet. On call three is right here. Let's have you guys move to this planet. On call four is en route. On call, uh, on call five is here. So have you move to the planet. On call six is also here. I'll have these guys jump out and finish the, the stragglers off. On call seven, I guess, was completely destroyed. And on call eight is also en route from the outside. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just uh, start mopping up some of the forces here. I suspect that a lot of these ships, which appear to be intact, are gonna make some kind of move at us. So in order to prepare for such a, an event. On call three, where are you guys going? Move to plan the X, okay. In order to prepare for that um, contingency, <laughs> we will start moving to the planet, just grouping up back into the death ball. So these guys are going to finish off this ship. Once they finish off that one, we'll get that one as well. Yeah, this is good. 
So let's go up to 0.5, wait, or one time speed. So we've already done some pretty important stuff in this uh, episode just by um, canceling our treaty with the Salarians. That was pretty big. Looks like they already know to go after these guys. Okay, we're under attack. This is what I suspected. Let's have this guy make a run for it. While the rest of his friends over here actually initiate the attack. We just wanted to clump up. Good. It's working perfect. He's going to be somewhat out of the way by the time this guy comes in. He has enough shields. Yeah, this is just fine. Good. Now, did they jump at us yet? Oh, yes, they did. Uh, this is actually problematic, but he's going to run into us in a second. I just like to imagine what's going on. Like, I'd like to imagine these ships dodging in and out. He comes in, flies into the planet, but he can't get an escape vector in time. And this guy, it's whatever, just attack. This guy's not long for this world either. We'll be able to finish off the rest of these guys very soon. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of them coming still. By the way, we did knock them down from, what was it, 4,500? They're down to just 2,000, so cut their strength in half. Plenty of ships left to kill. Jeez. Finally knocking that off, which is good. Then we have one last thing over here, but I think one of the other groups... Yeah, so On Call 4 is headed there. And On Call 8 is heading over to attack this mining station. Well, if that's the case, then let's get on call one to disengage back to this planet. Okay, so on call eight, you don't have a mission. Let's have you just uh, move directly to this planet. Hmm, you one 1%. All right, a new fleet admiral has appeared. Very good. We don't know anything about him yet, but we will learn something about him soon. They're still coming in and just basically getting themselves killed. What are they down to now? Below 2,000? 1,600. So now we really don't need to pay them any mind. They have four controlled colonies still. Let's take a look at the scope of things. Zero controlled colonies. The Fierce Fang is basically non-existent. Kertos Outlaws, also basically non-existent. Menacing Sun, the only one who's left. We can see that they have two known locations. Um, Sinister Gangster, these guys are basically dead. And four control colonies still, though. Zero, one, four, and two for these guys. We have a good relationship with them. I actually want them to start attacking... The many seen Sun Buccaneers, but let's see, 3200 versus 20, yeah, they, they have the strength to do it. Oh well, let's spend this time instead actually focusing on crash researching stuff. 450,000, I don't think so. Oh good, so we're, wow, we're just about done with this, that's fantastic. What's the next one after this? Two. Is better shields. Well... I'm not sure I want to do that anymore. I also am not sure I want to do this Garrick's hard drive. We want to get ahead. I want to get ahead in the research and not, this is just going to be a, a stop gap. I don't want that anymore. Yeah, okay, so this also is the same thing. It's just a stop gap. Let's get to the end game and, some, and something else. Oh, I see. We need this to, for high speed turning anyway. So that makes sense to me. That makes sense then. We need it anyways. We need multi-vector eventually. So that seems okay. That'll keep us on this engine for a little bit longer, but we'll move up to multi-vector um, a little bit quicker. 
Then we can go up to 500. Already 400 appears to be what everyone else is at because we saw uh, Solarian battleships of size like 390 or something like that. Yeah, I want to cut ahead. I don't want to wait behind. I want to get up to the Meridian Shields. I want to... Maybe that's the next thing we do. So now that we've kind of fought off our battles here... Since we already have... This is a dead end, so I really don't like doing this, but since we have 18% already done on this one, we probably do finish it. But I'd much rather just get these guys done. Let's see, which one Which one of these is better? I prefer higher strength and lower recharge, I believe. Because your ship can always be sent off to recharge, but having the raw amount is, in my opinion, better. So we'll do something like this and get up to nine. So that means there's still four things we're doing first. We're doing one, then three, four. Where's the two? Oh, large scale construction. Let's cancel that. So we're gonna go one, two, both these 1200 down to three. Then we'll move up to four, five, six, seven and then get the Meridian Shields. And then after that, I mean, okay, so technically we don't need to do all this before we do the large scale construction. What we could do instead is just cancel this. We could do the large scale construction after we get our multi-vector. That seems fine to me. And then start working on the better shields. Like so. Yeah, which means we'll switch over from the Corvidian shields to the um, Ducalios shields for a short time or maybe just skip it all together. Yeah, so we're at 120.4, so really this is just a, an, a big step up in every way. And this is 215.5, which is yeah, just much better than anything the Corvidians are going to be able to give us. I don't really care about massive shield projection, I really don't. Um, but, yeah, we'll probably just ignore that tree until much later in the game when we have tons of time to do research on the, all the minor things. We're, when we finished a lot of the end game tech that I want. Okay, so we have this money still left. How are we doing on... Oh, we fiz finished desert colonization. I somehow missed this. Wow, this is great. I don't know how I missed this, but this is fantastic. Oh wait, no, no, this is enhanced colonization module. I thought we already had that. Maybe I it was in the last episode. So this, oh yeah, never mind. We already had the enhanced colonization module because we had ocean colonization. Right, right, right. So this is something I missed, which is good. It gives us the double continental colony growth rate. That's probably the most important thing this does for us. But now we can colonize, um, desert with the Chiodian people, which is what I prefer because obviously Manticore is much better at building um, colony ships than any anything else we have. So uh, with that said, what colony ships do we already have out right now? None, they're all, oh no, we do have one. This is Securin. So this has desert, this one is going to retrofit. Okay, we'll leave it to retrofit. I'd almost like to cancel it because we don't want it now. We won't, I'd rather uh, move my key audience around. So let's go to Manticore, construction. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a few of these better fortune class. I'll even just get three. I know that there's a lot of desert planets. We should probably just be colonizing almost everything we can. This is a heavy investment. The reason why my cash flow is down so low is because we just have so many colonies that aren't paying for themselves yet. Everything you see on this list out of 12, only Manticore is getting taxes. But Guyanese's itself is already up to, well, let's see, 6.2 million or so. The planet will cap at, uh, probably cap around, well, below 20 billion. So it's not capped yet, but it will be capping soon and then we just start taxing it. So we will be, we will yeah we will be making a lot more money very soon. All right, so let's push forward then. 
colonies done. Oh, we wanted to advance research. This is good. We're going to do this. For only 300,000, yes, we will definitely do advanced research for only 300,000. That's absolutely acceptable. This is just about done. And do we want to rush this? No. Okay, onward. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. On the Distant World subreddit, there was recently an interesting discussion with somebody saying that actually global research does scale. So your actual output does increase with not just your energy research, uh, the research wonders, but also from locations, which means that we need to get locations. And preemptively, even though I forgot that I was doing this, I built a remote energy. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is go over here to potential research locations. We have, let's take a look at this from our home. We're gonna take the top weapons research, the top energy research, and the top high tech research. Technically this is the top high tech research, but um, it's we have 26 versus 29 and this is closer. So I'd much rather the ones in our system so that they're not disputed or whatever. And uh, we already have better, yeah, so we have the best weapon, the best energy that we can in our home systems. And then it's the second best high tech, but it's still good. So what I'm gonna do is send some of our construction ships off to build all these things. Let's go over here. We have, this is the weapons research. Okay, let me start with the energy research one because I already built the design for this remote energy. Essentially what I did is make this bare bones, totally bare bones. It'll be entirely susceptible to any kind of damage. In fact, okay, so just to make it so that it has some value in life, we'll give it maybe one shield and, oh, it does need energy collectors, That that is a good point. One energy collector, which is, yeah, more than it needs, and maybe, two shields, or two armor. I don't even think, okay, maybe, yeah, two armor is just uh, really, really minor. Okay, so th this is it. 350 maintenance cost per year, I think that's ex an acceptable amount for a substantial increase in research. So uh, we will even do the test. Our planet will probably not be increasing as much as a huge 29% increase will give us. So, we'll save this again. Do I want anything else? Basically, I tried to make a bare bones. Two standard, two cargo bay. Mm, only needs one. How much is this? 340 versus, ah, oh, whoops. Cargo bay, cargo bay. 358 goes down to 342. It's a pretty minor, but okay. It's probably not necessary, so we'll do that anyway. Does it need a docking bay? Eh, it needs one, but maybe not two. So we'll take that down. I'm even going to be even more uh, stringent or, yeah. Is there anything else? I put the quantum reactor on, so we'll use Caslon, not hydrogen. One Corvidian shield. I think this is okay. Yeah. I don't even really care if it has a shield or not, to be honest. I really don't. But if we're gonna add one, let's just see if we can sneak in two. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, 370 though, this might be, that's a pretty substantial increase. So you know what, no, let's just cut it. Let's just put a few armor on it, maybe three armor. Perfect, 300 maintenance cost. So this is what we're gonna have, remote energy I guess I would prefer it to be research energy, like so. That's probably a better name for it. Okay, good. So research energy, we'll get one of our construction ships. Let's figure out which one is already home. Okay, daunting, you're good. Okay, so daunting, who else is here? Grimy Odyssey is also available and Where's the stout illusion? So you need to come home, it looks like. 
I don't know what you were doing. You were building this here, I guess. Okay, so Stout Illusion needs to come back. Refuel at Planet Manicor. Spirit of Kadi is ready. Okay, so we have Daunting. I thought it was the Daunting. Yeah, okay, the Daunting Discovery, the Grimy Odyssey, and the Spirit of Kiadia. Actually, the Radium Miracle is also fine. So the bottom two are fine, and then the Grimy Odyssey. Fine. Go over to our Energy Research Planet, and now we'll get one of those guys to build here. I want to build it really close to the other one. Energy Research Station, Research Energy. Very cheap. Good. Now we go back to designs, we go to, I want to actually, although I have what my style is, one of everything, two standard fuel, three armor. I'm just going to use this because I prefer, like basically, if you just change this directly, um, it maintains this picture, <laughs> excuse me, and it also, you have to switch the role. Do they look identical? They might look identical. They do look identical to me. But just to be cautious and I like, are these all the same? I'm just looking at the picture here. It looks identical to me actually, but I'm just gonna edit these because I can, it doesn't matter. Uh, research, high tech. We'll take away these. Um, oh, first of all, I have to auto upgrade first. I don't know why I'm saying the same word twice in the same sentence twice. <laughs> All right, now I think we can get rid of everything here. It's going to complain at first. We don't want the hyperfusion, actually. We want the Caslon one. So let's get the quantum. Is it the quantum reactor? I think so. Fission was the old one. Hyperfusion is the newest one. Yeah, it's the quantum. Okay, good. So quantum reactor. Take away this, just two of those, and we only want one lab. No weapons, there it is, bare bones. Energy collector, yes, we want one. Come on, energy, okay, let's only show the latest now. There it is, one and three armor. So 302, I think that's exactly what I had before though, right? Looks the same. Might maybe the high tech co lab costs a little different. Who knows? So 300, 302. They're different sizes though. One, 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 two. One, 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 three. The size of the energy lab is 20. The size of the high tech lab is 20. Three enhanced armor. Two. So the only numbers that are not one are the standard fuel and the enhanced armor. Sarah Fuel Enhanced Armor. Quantum Reactor Caslon. What the hell is different between these? This is 78. Oh, they're both the same size. My god, I was looking at the wrong thing. The maintenance might be different, but they are the exact same size. Okay, we're good there. Let's also do the weapons research while we're at it. Research weapons. Um, did I auto upgrade you? I did, good. Take off everything, whoop. Actually, we need two standard fuel cells. We get the quantum reactor. Take away the hyperfusion. Energy collector. those take away five of those good so we have energy quantum there was something that it should have three yeah armor all right 78 that looks familiar save there we go so we have our research stations we just need one per planet and these will be blown up these are really often targeted by uh enemy sabotage missions and that's the reason why i'm making it really cheap because i'm expecting that i'm expecting we're going to lose a lot of them but they're very easy to rebuild this way so that doesn't matter now we can go over to the weapons planet. We'll get somebody to build this. Weapons. And last, we want to go over to high tech. And we'll have somebody build the high tech here. 
There it is. Good. So we sorted that out. My god, this has been a slow episode. Oh, by the way, I have an opinion, or a question, what your opinion is. Oh, good, we got coordinated maneuvering. So now we're st what are we doing? Wow, it only, it costs so, it's so cheap to do these things now, to just crash research everything. And I'm really tempted to do that, because you can see the cost of buying this was, uh, you know, a lot. A lot. It's over one to one on the cost, but the cost to crash research is now like a quarter because of all the speed up we have, which is good, quite good. So we'll go ahead and crash research that. We'll just be crash researching everything in energy and high tech because those are the most important things. I know the weapons will become slow, but we can always reorient our research back to weapons once we're through a lot of the really good stuff in energy and high tech. And we won't be through that for, you know, maybe another double the amount of time we've already been playing, like 40 years. So that'll be a while. Now, to this question I have, I don't know uh, how many people are watching this who are interested in posting or commenting about this, but my idea is not to play everything on camera now. Because things are slowing down a little bit. We had stuff like this um, episode, which has been mostly how to design ships. And I probably will even come on at the very beginning of this episode and make a mention of that. This will be mostly about designing ships and um, dealing with diplomacy. That's all we've done in like 30, whatever, oh, almost 40 minutes now. Almost, at least. So is it important for me to do this on camera? I don't think so. I probably could do this off camera and then just show you what, uh, what I've done. So I'm gonna move to that. It won't be done here. Obviously this episode's already recorded now, but um, I'll probably be moving to that in the future. And then you can let me know if you think that's good or not. Or if you don't, if nobody comments, I would just assume that that's okay. Okay, so one of our colonies is suffering from some shortages. That's fine. The, the private economy will figure that out for us. Our cash flow is going more and more negative. <laughs> We're really hanging at the, on the balance there. <laughs> Cheerful Splendor has completed its mission. Fine. The next upgrade for construction ships, I will give them energy collectors. I think I'll give every ship one energy collector. And to that point, I might want to increase the energy collection rate, which I thought was high tech, but might have been energy and construction. Yeah. Okay. Well, it would make sense that energy would be energy, right? Oh man, it's 1200. It's just something I can't afford to do quite yet. It's not worth it. It's only a 50% increase. Not worth it. So there she goes. Everyone is at war with the Haven Knights right now. <clears throat> That's interesting. <laughs> Excuse me? Wow. <clears throat> so the Haven Knights are about to get what's coming to them. <laughs> Wild scheme. Ready to go, okay. Pirate frigate. Yeah, this makes sense. We have ships there to respond though. I don't think she's gonna get away. She's trying to warp out, get her. Damn, she got away. Well, the only thing left to do is probably kill this station. Take a on call five. You guys probably have some people available. Get you to just move here. <clears throat> We've already taken out everything down here, so we can move these guys back up on call one. So look how fast that was. Oh, Cardio Research Center. Yeah, look at how tiny this base is. <laughs> there it is. Kyoto Research Center. We'll call this, um, I'm gonna actually name this Energy Remote Station. Or Remote Energy. Okay, Remote Energy Research sounds good to me. We'll also get the Radiant Miracle to go home. She's still not triggering her thing. There she goes. Whoops. 
Uh, the war between the Haven Knight and Andromani has ended. Oh, this gives me a really good point. I can try to get money from the Silesians by saying I'll declare war. No, they don't. They won't give me any money for it. They're on to my game. What about the Salarians? Although they kind of hate us. Will they give us... Can we get any money from them? We can! Oh, they only have 176,000. But still, it's probably worth it to declare war on somebody. Let's do it. Okay. We declared war. So now we're at war, but it doesn't matter. We can go to peace with them very soon. It's kind of one of the silly things about this game. The AI will do the same to you. If you're wondering why I'm just cheesing the AI, it's because the AI will do the same to you. See? The AI is doing it to the Salarians. I'm imagining this war was started by the Salarians. Um, everyone's declaring peace with the Havenites. Oh wait, no, the Raystones have been at war with the Havenites for a long time, so they probably are like, oh shoot, we have a lot of people coming at us. Let's just go ahead and bail out of the war with Grayson. And I think, to be honest, that they've done a good job winning that one. I'm, I'm not sure which colonies were originally Grayson or not, but since these are deep into the blue, they probably were originally Grayson colonies. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and peace out in our Havenite war. Maybe we can even take some money. And we will offer to lift the sanctions against... Why does this have a value of 19 million? Okay, well, I don't care what happens. We're just now at peace with the Have Knights, which is fine with me. We've lifted our sanctions, you know, we're probably not having a very good reputation for this. In fact, it hasn't been affected at all. <laughs> Grayson has just declared war on the Haven Knights. So the diplomacy system in um, Distant Worlds, just there's no... there's It's not like there's a United Nation or anything. People just can do whatever the hell they want. But I think at this point we got to call this video to a close because now we're um, going a little bit over time. Just as we completed our research breakthrough here, which means that we should probably... God, it only costs 360000 No, it costs 600000 I see. But we only have 360000 Even with all that money we're getting from these uh, silly diplomacy acts. <laughs> so now we can in initiate sa trade sanctions again for... Another 50,000. <laughs> okay, good. We just constantly get money from everyone abusing the diplomacy system. Oh, look, we'll declare war on them. <laughs> They're onto our game. These guys probably don't know what the hell to think about us. We like them one minute, the next minute we don't. So as long as the Andermani stay happy with us, and yeah, basically I like, I would prefer to increase relationships with the Silesians, but I don't have any reasonable way to do that. They don't have enough money for me to take anything from them. Did you guys gain any money since the last time we talked? Couldn't we possibly, no, you actually lost money. Although we now did this thrust vectoring, which is, significantly cheaper than the Maxos Blasters, and I actually prefer the Advanced Blasters, though. Uh, well... That's okay. Well, I do want to sell them technology, but I'm going to do that off-camera. Let me look into that off-camera. So, in this episode, a lot of interesting stuff happened, actually, with the wars and all that, but not much actually got done in terms of time progression. You know, we, we were a bit slow. Oh my god! So the Haven Knights have now taken over this system. I don't like that. At some point, I, I think I will just end up being a very mean person, and I will start exterminating the Slukins. They are just a pain in the butt to suppress. Um, some different races handle foreign occupation differently. 
and the Salukans are one of the worst. The Skarans also. The insects in general just are not very good under um, foreign leadership. So this is when you can start moving them to penal colonies or you know any anything like that. Anyways, I'm gonna call this video to a close. So thanks for watching, and hopefully it won't be another week before the next episode comes out. If you do have an opinion about whether or not to do things on camera or um, do everything on camera or to do a little bit off camera to get to the more exciting things, now that we're already you know almost 40 episodes through. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, but otherwise I'm just going to kind of assume that doing a little bit off camera is going to be okay, and I'll just try to pause as soon as something interesting happens. I'll mention immediately when I start recording what, what has gone on since the last recording, what interesting thing has happened which has inspired me to start recording again. So this might be more entertaining. I, I think it will be. That said, again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you for the next episode.